Hey, I'm Laura, I'm a musician and producer and I've just released my first album. So I wrote this album over a few years and I wrote, produced and mixed it all myself. When I've written a song, I start building the track around it. Usually I, I write it on the guitar, on like an acoustic guitar mainly. I lay it out, I get a guide vocal down and I set the tempos and stuff. And then you just have to play around, you just have to go for it. I just play the guitar over it, whatever. I feel like there's no formula, to be honest. You have a feeling, oh, I need to put that here and you just do it. There's other songs though that, that does, really doesn't happen and you're kind of waiting for those magical moments where you know what to do. With songs, I always know when they're not finished. I'm very quick to write songs. I don't go over things a million times. I think that you either get it instantly or it, 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 it's not meant to be. That's how I feel. And with production, you ju it just sounds right. That's literally it, I think, for me. And sometimes a song will never sound right and maybe it will never be finished. And one day you listen to a song that you wrote three years ago and suddenly you crack it. I'm, just, I'm more of a creator than a technical person. Um, it just so happens that I've done all this technical stuff because I'm so specific about what I want it to be like, right, because it's, I've created it. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't know anything about what you're meant to make it sound like. I just think, you know, on this limiter, some people might look at this and be like, what the hell has she done? Like, I've pulled the limiter right down to the bottom and it's just practically like bouncing up. I'm pretty sure no one does that, but I think it sounds amazing, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> To get in a creative space, I think I just have to be in a creative space. Like this in my house is perfect. It's really chilled. There's no time constraints. That's also a reason I don't really like working in big studios because I feel like the time pressures and the money pressures to get something done sometimes make something a bit ingenuine for me. Sometimes your head's just not there. There's nothing about the exterior. It's all just about you. You know, I was trying to mix this album for like, five months because I was in and out of the country, my head was just all over the place, I just wasn't in the space to do it. And then I went on tour for a month and I didn't have a chance to work on music and I came back because I'd had a bit of space I guess. I finished mixing the album in a week. It's annoying but you can't really decide sometimes what happens. <laughs> I think with self-producing the main obstacle and what makes it hard is focusing. So I think sometimes if there's somebody else in the room, it's very good to like vibe off each other, get an energy off each other, and really keep going. Like you, when I do stuff with other people, we work long, way longer hours than I do when I'm on my own. When I'm on my own, it's more just like a few hours at a time. I might get distracted by something. I might want a coffee. You know, it's just I like working like that. It's like the freedom of being on your own, which is great. However, you have to have a real sure focus and a determination to get something done and to really have that work ethic and sometimes you wake up and you have it and sometimes you don't and it just means that sometimes things take a lot longer to get done I think. I've got a million guitars they're all packed away actually at the moment because I've just been touring with them. I just got a, a MIDI keyboard in fact it's super broken because I've dropped it so many times and just modulates things randomly so that's fun. I have this microphone that I've been using because my other microphone is broken because that's also been dropped, classic. This is an AKG C214. I have some Yamaha speakers, um, obviously the lovely Audion soundcast. And I just got my laptop and that's really it. I sometimes, this is my amp that I play with live, I sometimes record through that amp because the valve amp is really, really nice. However, recently I've got a new guitar, I've got a Fender, and I've never had a Fender before, and I've just been DIing it through the computer, to be honest. Just putting loads of effects on it because I'm lazy. I've got a very lazy setup. It's not very technical, but I really think sometimes you can get stuck in all of the, the technical side and you don't make anything. Sometimes you get so stuck in what a sound sounds like compared to actually making a whole vision of a song. And then before you know it, you've spent a whole day on this one tiny thing. With me, if I hear the same thing over and over and over, I don't get any new, new ideas. I have to get all the ideas down and then make it sound good because otherwise you just, you just it's, there's the freshness of it is gone. When the album went out, I expected to feel this huge like, wow, this is awesome. Fish us out. <laughs> the album just comes out. You're so 
involved in everything that you don't even think about it. It's just normal, it's done now. I'm already thinking, well, what's my next album gonna be? I have to get writing it. I can't believe I haven't already finished my next album. But to get it back and to know that you created everything on there and it's exactly the vision that you wanted is probably one of the most rewarding things ever. And you know, I'm looking maybe to not do that on the next album, but I do kind of wonder how I'm gonna feel about the album if it isn't if it isn't all made by you, because it's your creation, that's what I think is so exciting about it.